Hi, this is Andrea from Tech Support in Corvina and in this video I'm going to show you how to activate your Corvina interface in Gmobile in order for you to get your Internet of Things data from the device. So, let's uh, open up here our project, this is a, a dummy project that we have and um, the first thing to do in order to activate the Corvina interface is to make sure that you have a protocol enabled, in this case is a it's just the local variables that you have some tags in this case we have some dummy tags for the variables protocol and that you need to go on interfaces and then Corvina double click and the Corvina interface will open up in this feature tab we can enable the Corvina interface as well as the alarms because we want also to send the alarms from the device we can also define which kind of tags we want to send. In case you have defined some uh, groups for the tags, you can find them here. In this case, we select all, as well as the alarm, same thing. Type your activation key here, and then you can personalize the sending with some tags. For example, here we have a, a tag enabled, power on which basically when the tag is uh, on the true status, the Corvina interface will go up and uh, the data will be sent to the platform. This you can uh, even avoid personalizing it. These are just the advanced settings that you can uh, use to enable the log level as error, warning, info or debug, depending on the depth that you want the log from. The Corvina endpoint you just simply don't need to, to worry about. It's going to be just the default one. We deselect this one, we don't need it. And then we save it. Once this is saved, we can download it on the device itself. Download completed. And that's it. This is everything that needs to be done in Gmobile in order to set up the Corvina interface. Now we are ready to go on with the setting up the modeling and mapping on the Corvina platform. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.